The U.N. sounds the alarm over ongoing arbitrary detention of WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. One America's Christian Rose looks into the matter. She came to the conclusion that had he had been exposed to psychological torture for a, a prolonged period of time, and that's a medical assessment. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange is facing cruel, inhumane and degrading treatment as he remains in detention in the UK's Belmarsh prison. That's according to UN Special Rapporteur on Torture Niels Meltzer, who's calling for an international investigation into the legitimacy of Assange's arbitrary detention Tuesday. Meltzer says Britain and other countries have repeatedly violated Assange's rights to due process over the past few years. Unfortunately, none of the involved states has, have agreed to conduct an investigation, although that is their obligation under the Convention on Torture. The UN report comes as the movement to free Assange is gaining momentum across the globe. Over the past few months, several renowned public figures spoke up for Assange's release, including Pink Floyd Roger Waters, Chinese dissident artist Ai Weiwei and Pamela Anderson of the Baywatch fame. For its part, the UN says Assange's expulsion from the Ecuadorian embassy in London earlier this year may have violated the International Convention on Asylum Seekers. Because this is where you determine whether an asylum seeker has actually been tortured. And if the tortured asylum seeker is returned to his home with risk for increased torture, it's a clear violation of the uh, convention. The UN report confirms Assange is indeed in poor health and hardly poses any danger if released. Earlier this year, Sweden said it's no longer seeking an extradition of Assange, while a hearing on his extradition to the US is not expected until the next year. In this light, many say Assange's detention at Belmarsh doesn't make much sense. He just campaigned for peace, and this cannot be the example, you know. And we can't make that an example to society where we, we penalise people for, for that. However, Assange's fate may become a major sticking point in the British-American relations after Brexit. Some say the WikiLeaks founder could become the UK's bargaining chip in the trade talks with the US, as London may consider Assange's extradition to get a better deal. However, some reports argue neither the US nor the UK are seriously interested in prosecuting Assange anymore, and the only reason he remains in detention may be to avoid a wider publicity for the time being. We think it's very, very unfair. He was presented today at court an innocent man um, awaiting extradition hearing and we're here to support free speech, freedom of the press and Julian Assange. The UN reiterates Assange has been deprived of basic and essential human activities for years. Officials say the international community must take greater responsibility to find a humane solution, possibly allowing Assange to reunite with his family in his native Australia. Christian Rose, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.